Hey hello Vault Wars, it's Angry Tartle, and in this video I want to show you another weapon, another weapon on my underrated weapons list. And just quick disclaimer, as usually underrated weapon doesn't mean weak weapon. It basically means that I rarely see those weapons being used. It doesn't mean as well that you will rarely see them, because maybe in your area people are using them a lot, but just not on the servers I play. And the weapon is Plasma Rifle. It actually can be a pistol as well, and I don't pay too much attention to its legendary effects, as you can use it with different ones and have a really good results. Actually for damage, as I'm currently on Stealth Sniper build, that's almost ready by the way, and I will publish it in the next video. I just need to do a couple more tweaks, then I will show you in the next video my Stealth Sniper build. And this weapon. I figured it out with Mitzi, and if you were watching her video about her pistol build, then you know she's using a pistol version of this weapon. Here is a rifle version of this weapon. What's so good about this weapon? Basically, if you are a rifleman, or if you are a gunslinger build, the problem is you lack an options for good DPS. But not anymore. With this weapon, you can have a really good DPS. And no, it's not a stealthy weapon, you cannot use it with stealth, but you can jump into power armor and have in your arsenal really good weapon that can offer you a nice damage without any compromises apart from short range. But that's okay if you enter power armor. And now, what's so special about this weapon? Let me show you on the workbench. If we look at the modifications, first we have Prime Capacitor. And as you can see, unlike any other weapons, the prime capacitor on energy weapons is actually giving you a nice damage boost. Like in case of ballistic weapon with one wasteland for whatever reason, it's no longer a significant boost if any, but in case of energy and mixed damage type like plasma, prime capacitor still helps a lot. It does change ammo into ultra side plasma cartridges, but, good news is, you can farm them now from daily op, then you do not need to sacrifice flux to make your ammo, you can just farm daily op, and I will show you that in the moment as well. And you can see the difference between standard capacitor and prime capacitor is significant, like if you look at energy damage, 76 now, and standard is only 63, and there is no other capacitor that, apart from the prime, that will offer you a damage boost because it's energy weapon. Capacitor are doing a lot of things, but not the damage. And you can see I don't have them unlocked in here, but you can unlock them by scrapping the weapons. It's just not this character. This character does not know that and it doesn't need. And here is the key, flamer barrel that increases damage. You can see short barrel, the damage are significantly lower than if I put a flamer and a part of that, if you pay attention to the fire rate, it's go from 42 to 114, where it keeps benefits from rifleman perks. Then there is no swapping perks. You do not need commando perks. You need rifleman perks. By the way, commando cannot use it. That's a nice touch. Like commando will need to swap perks to rifleman to have a benefit from this weapon. And that's, that's really a nice touch from developers that they include something that can help Rifleman and Gunslinger builds. I really I really appreciate that. Stock is not very important. The stock and grip, you basically choose if you want it to be a rifle or if you want it to be a pistol. Like whatever you see in the picture, like have a pistol grip, it will be pistol. You see a stock, it will be a rifle. And no, it doesn't actually change the damage. The damage difference that you can see in here, it's because my rifleman perks are being applied when there is a stock, and those are not being applied when there is a grip. Enough talking, let's jump into power armor and show you how this weapon works. And now I'm here in the golf club because I want to show you something that other weapons are not doing and flame time weapons are doing. The damage is not a cone shape, but if enemies will stand in straight line, you can see that I killed multiple ghouls with one shot, like that. They, if they are in the straight line, it's coming through enemies. Then you can kill more than one and damage, that's a full health build. 
then damage is impressive. Like, you cannot expect any better than that, especially after one wasteland. The damage is great. Like, there was no problem. And look at the ammo capacity. I used like 50 plasma cartridges and I still have 250 loaded in. Then that's really not a problem. The ammo capacity is crazy, which means you will have a good DPS, a really good DPS with this weapon. And even without utilizing stealth, because actually you can't, but that's, as I said, not a problem if you have at least one power armor. Now let me demonstrate it on daily op. And we have robots that the toughest enemies you can get. Luckily, not the resilient ones, just a freezing ones. And now I'm starting daily op and I have almost 1200 plasma cartridges, 1197. That's good. And look at those damage. Those damage numbers as those robots are quite tough here. And look at ammo, up to 16 cartridges I'm getting back. Look at that. The side effect. Another 16 cartridges. And here 8 cartridges. I don't know what's the highest with the, the lowest possible that I can get. That's 12. Then it seems like between 8, between 8 and 16, that's another 8. And that's 4. Yeah, then probably 4 is the lowest possible. And 16 will be like the highest. But that's still, if you look how much ammo I spent to kill them, I'm getting back way more than I'm spending. Yeah, I'm already like 30 ahead what what was when i started and don't forget there is a hefty amount of ammo after you complete the daily op apart from that daily op how much it will take you it's like from five to eight minutes usually to do the daily op therefore it's not so hard to farm this ammo and then you can just use it okay and now we have the boss let's see how well my plasma flamer will do versus the boss the crazy assault on the robot. Yeah, he's here. We have some firepower and let's see my firepower. Yeah, I think we match. <laughs> we match in firepower. No, we don't. I have much more firepower. <laughs> I won. And now after like six minutes in daily op, I end up with about, yeah, almost 400 extra ultrasight plasma cartridges. Then I guess that's not bad at all. 400 in about six minutes of farming i would say that's good and about those plasma rifles there is one more option how to get one but there is there are some complications with that like if you go into enclave you can buy enclave plasma rifle what's basically different color than this one but as well higher base damage what's meant you can use non-legendary because you cannot get legendary enclave plasma rifle and still have really good damage the problem is, Enclave does not sell mods for this plasma rifle, and I have problem to get those mods. You cannot learn the plan to craft Enclave plasma rifle, and you cannot learn plans to mod Enclave plasma rifle with exception of Prime Receiver. That's the one that you can learn. And unfortunately, as vendors are not selling those mods, then it looks like, at least from I was able to find, they can only drop from drop connection enclave event, and there is not too high chance, and I was unsuccessful to get one, therefore, I have no clue if it's still possible to get them. If you guys know, if you can still get mods, especially flamer mods, as this is the one we are looking for, for Enclave Plasma Rifle, please let me know, as yeah, I failed and I don't know now if it's harder than getting just a legendary regular Plasma Rifle or if there is a good way to get Enclave Plasma Rifle Flamer mod. And I would like to know. Oh, your guy are attacking Wisepring, then I have one more opportunity to use it. Can I sneak? Let's see if I will be able to get with a sneak and how long, how long my stealth will last. Uh, possibly not hitting the bots. Okay, I'll try it. Was hidden for a moment. I'm in danger already. Oh no. Explosions. I'm still alive. Okay, back to caution. This one roasted. Robots are still friendly. Oh, there is one more left. Yeah, this one is hiding over there. Sneak. Can I go in caution? 
No, that's fine. Let's try it. I'm cushion. Yeah, roasted. And Morat. This one is easy prey. At least with this weapon. Yeah, I did it. Roasted some higher 100 level enemies. Yeah, this weapon is truly powerful. Enclave. Plasma rifle would be awesome to get, but I don't know how to put a flamer on it yet. And this one, any legendary will do great. And even if you don't have a legendary, you can give it a shot. Just get a regular plasma rifle with flamer mod and try it. If you are a rifle build or gunslinger build, if you have one of those, why not? Go and try it. And that's about everything I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.